What's going on world? Today's Tuesday and as promised, it's another How to Tuesday. And for today's installment, I'm gonna show you four quick tricks that you can do with your sprocket. Now, you need a sprocket guard to do this trick. I mean, you don't necessarily need it, but if you value the life of your sprocket and or your chain, I highly recommend it. I have been running this little fancy dandy Shadow Conspiracy bash guard. I've also been running the Sabrosa one, the Magnum one, that one's pretty tight. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be metal or plastic. I do recommend metal because you can stall better. If you do plastic, you go at something at slightly at an angle and you'll like slip out. So preferably, I recommend to get a metal one. And I don't know, I'm a little more old school, so I do like the way that metal sounds. So the first one I'm gonna show you how to do is a quick sprocket stall. Then we're gonna do a sprocket to 180, a sprocket to fakey, a sprocket to double peg, and then if I can come up with anything else, oh, and a sprocket grind. So I think the first one we should show you is the sprocket thinking. Not very complicated. Approach the ledge at a gradual speed. You're gonna go perpendicular. That means that you're gonna ride into the ledge. Not parallel like you normally do for regular grinds. This one is a stall, so you're just gonna kinda like bash your way in there. When you're learning it, it does help to put your pedal down, but I don't necessarily recommend it because it'll make you kinda like teeter totter. So just go straight at it, land on your sprocket. You want your chain to touch a little bit, mostly the sprocket. As soon as you land, you want to get that good bounce back. Fakie, that's it. All right, first try, first try. So like I said, just approach the ledge perpendicular, probably half a crank to one crank. Hop on there, make sure you land. You kind of want to like make sure you balance. Once you do, all you gotta do is pull back, yank the bars kind of into your chest, tuck the back end up because you don't want to go too far back. You'll do a faking manual and loop out and fall on your head. You don't want that. All right, same thing again, except that this time you're gonna do a 180 off, or it's kind of like a 90, either way. First try again. I didn't do it first try that time, but it's because I was trying to rush it in front of that lady. Second try the charm. See, had that lady not been there, it would have been all smooth sailing. The third one I'm gonna show you how to do is a sprocket to double peg. So this kind of like combines the first variation with the second because on the first one, you did a sprocket and you pulled out fakie. The second one, you sprocketed and then you 90 or kind of like 180. On this one, you're gonna do a sprocket and definitely just do 90 and then you're gonna try and touch your pegs on it. I haven't done it on this particular ledge, but it shouldn't be too difficult. The only hard part is that I do have plastic pegs, so when you do go from the sprocket to the pegs, it could slide a little bit, so be ready for that. This one, I don't think I can do first try, but maybe. But again, kind of go approach it, land smooth, then you want a 90. So when you're doing so, you kind of don't want to throw your weight too much, which is what I did. Threw my weight too far off, so it made me kind of touch pegs and then just fall off. So this time I'm gonna make sure I balance a little better, 90, lean the bike towards the ledge, do the L peg, then make it look good off. Second try, not too bad. All right, man, doing the how-tos, explaining them, and doing another one, takes a lot out of you. Okay, for the last one, kind of straightforward one, except that I have four pegs, but what we're gonna do is a sprocket grind, so just to demonstrate without me being necessarily on the bike, approach the ledge like you're gonna do a regular grind, parallel this time, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna be on your sprocket side. I'm left foot forward, my sprocket's on the right, I'm going to basically hop on without getting my back peg on, and that's the hard part. You only run two pegs, and the two pegs that you run are not on your sprocket side. This is a lot more straightforward. But since I do have the four pegs, I have to make sure I'm off the ledge enough to where it's just kind of like the sprocket and the pedal grinding. And since I have a 25 tooth sprocket, some of you guys might have a 22 or a 23. It's not really, really gonna touch. So you kind of have to do a pedal grind, but it's still kind of called a sprocket grind. If you have a 28 or bigger, a 30, 33, or if you're super old school and you have a 46, you're grinding with your soul, basically. Everything on your bike is gonna be touching, so that'll be kind of cool, but yeah, basically for us with four pegs, that's the only hard part is to make sure that that peg doesn't, side, doesn't grind on the side of the ledge because that'll kind of throw you off, get you all sideways and messed up, but all right, so far, 
it's taking me no more than two tries for everything, so let's hope that this is the same. All right, again, just hop on. It's almost like you're not hopping high enough because you're only gonna land on your sprocket and your pedal, basically. So you don't really have to use that much effort, which is also pretty cool because if you find things that are really tall, you can't necessarily double peg them, maybe you could kind of sprocket solid. them. While I was on this position, I'll show you one more variation you can do. That's basically a sprocket grind to 180, and I'll cap it at that. First try again? Let's see. That's the hard part. I hop too high, so second try. I did it, man. Five sprocket tricks, all within two tries. Explaining them with some detail. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. If you enjoy and appreciate our YouTube videos and that guy, make sure to check out our store at On Some Shit and On Some Shit LA. Thank you to my filmer, Nate Richter. And if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, go check it out because I'm doing a giveaway. So go check out my vlog, go on my Instagram, spam a bunch of shit, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.